Hey HUDBuds, James here, and today we'll take a look at another party game I stumbled upon when looking through that sweet steam winter sale. Here's our review of our Mello. Our Mello is best described as an example of quality versus quantity, and shows the importance of including as much substance in a virtual world as possible, no matter how large, or in this case, small, the scale of a game. From the start, our Mello offers only entertainment. The first thing the player experiences in this indie gem are its hand-drawn cutscenes and its majestic symphonic soundtrack that introduces you to the realm of our Mello, a wide expanse of land inhabited by four clans of animals, the wolf, the bear, the rat, and the hare, which are all governed by the Lion King. Only, in this case, he's a vicious, power-mad, bloodthirsty, soulless thrall of a terrible magical force called the Rot and he's completely evil. Like, so evil. <laughs> so, if it isn't obvious, this isn't Hakuna Matata. The whole realm of Armello is suffering under this dark force, which is shown to the player through rhyme and the game's interactive tutorial, which depicts the four clans each selecting a champion and sending them into the lands of Armello to usurp the king and bring an end to the conflict. Then the game is afoot. The realm of Armello is condensed into a field of hexagons, similar to a D&D mat, which is fleshed out with towns, dungeons, plains, altars, mountains, and swamps, with the king's daunting palace at the center of it all. The player picks their clan and their champion, and then the fate of Armello swings in the balance between themselves and three other champions. The victor just decided by attaining any of the four possible winning conditions, gaining enough strength, acquiring enough prestige, gathering four spirit stones, or falling to darkness and succumbing to the rot itself. After building their stats, levels, and armaments, these champions must successfully end the Lion King's reign of horror and tyranny by defeating him in mortal combat. What can I say? It's a circle of life. Overall, Armello is a quick but satisfying game that falls short in only a few areas, for example, even though most of the game's rules are in line with other tabletop strategy games, there are particular characters and strategies that are much more powerful than the others, and it's very easy to snowball the competition without much possibility for loss once you reach that point. Also, the whole game is reminiscent of Dungeons & Dragons, though this could be taken as a strength or a weakness of the game. A few examples of this are that players must have a higher strength than a foe's defense to even damage them. They get gold by helping towns out of tight spots, they gain prestige by besting tasks of growing difficulty, and all their struggles culminate in an epic battle against some big bad evil guy. Lastly, a severe flaw in this game is the inability for local co-op or multiplayer battles, but I have seen members of the development team actually replying to Steam comments justifying the absence of this feature and hinting that it might be a feature down the road. For me, I love fantasy, and everything about D&D, so fighting the influence of personal bias, I can still say that this game is addicting. There are only a few characters, but each of them has their own tricks and strategies to win, and each has a slew of other tools used to bamboozle your opponents. Its replayability is solid, since sessions of this board game usually take only an hour, and also since the game rewards you with more ways to play each time you finish a match. One example is gaining access to talismans, which can enhance a player's abilities at the very beginning of the match and puts you right ahead of the other champions. It's even more reassuring to know that the, the game's developers, League of Geeks, have been fixing the game and providing DLC since its launch in September 2015. In closing, I'm happy to recommend this game as I was impressed by almost everything it had to offer, and I definitely see myself playing it again. Heads Up Display gives Armello four stars out of five. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more fun videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel and be on the lookout for our videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also, we'd love it if you followed our social media, where we post more nerdy stuff about movies, TV shows, video games, and behind the scenes photos. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'm James, and this is Heads Up Display.